Okay, so welcome Bjorn. Thank you for joining in our series of helping our son and our advocates customers. It's great to have wow. you. Um, Thanks for having you, me, Peter. Yeah, no, it's our pleasure. Um, as you understand, we're doing a series of interviews with industry specialists, and we just had the privilege to speak to your actual business partner, um, Craig, who you guys run a marketing push. Um, I understand um, you are both neighbors, and that's how you met and then started your business together, uh, marketing push. Uh, with him specialising in the mail distribution and, and the parcels and, and the physical drop-offs, and you sort of spun off and sort of specialised in the digital aspect. Is it, is that, does that sort of capture the essence uh, of that? Yeah, definitely, mate. Like, digital has been a passion of mine um, all the way back when the internet started. I remember as a young guy at university trying to log on to the uh, library of my university with a really old 14400 modem. So, mm. yeah, digital has been... Uh, you know, within my blood for many, many years. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and in terms of, especially during this time, I mean, has the strategy changed, do you think, in, in how our customers can reach out to their, their customers? Yeah, no, definitely. I, I think, um, you know, today every business really needs to deal and uh, manage some online assets to to build a long-term or mid-term future for themselves. Um, so I think today we can talk about some really key essentials that, that all of your Abacus customers should really look into and either do it themselves um, or get help um, to be found uh, on the internet. Um, it's a must have today, mate. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, we've, I'm sure we've had customers of all levels ranging from uh, your experts who pay an agency to look after everything all the way to the uh, startup business who may not know too much, um, may have created their own on, you know, sites that allow you to do that. Um, and they've got a site now. It's now it's like, okay, how do people find my site? Uh, I yeah. guess this is where your specialty comes in. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So let me, uh, let me go a little bit into depth there and explain to your customers what, what my personal recommendations are. Mm. First of all, you mentioned um, that a lot of companies use agencies. Now, whilst that is great, I would actually say it's a little bit of a loss of information and insights. Why do I say that? Because there is so much to be learned. And actually, it's not that difficult these days anymore to, to really understand what's happening out there. Let me, let me just give you one of the most important examples that, that I really wanted to share today with your customers. And that is, that is navigating around in Sydney and Australia. And yeah. most people would use Google Maps for that, right? Yeah. I mean, Google Maps is a fantastic software. It's way better than the Apple Maps software. So everyone on Android smartphones and iPhones will be navigating around with Google. They know what the traffic is like. They know traffic jams. They know everything, right? Mm -hmm. So the con conclusion for me is, and the, the most important advice today, I think, is Every company, no matter whether a local plumber uh, or an online delivery store or, you know, anyone needs to be found on Google Maps, because if you're not on Google Maps, you don't exist. And where shall your customers leave those very important five-star reviews? Or if they want to come to your local shop, how do they navigate to you if you don't have a Google business listing? So that's my first, first important advice is you need to get a Google business listing. It's free. It's very straightforward. Google sends you a postcard to ver verify your address mm -hmm. and you're all set up. And then you can even use Google Business to post updates and let customers know what's happening around your business even during this crisis. And you can link your website from there. So that, that's the first big piece of advice right here. Okay, and that's pretty easy for um, an individual to do. Anyone can just, do just it. Click, um, I just go to Google, click you, I don't know, my map yeah. or something, and then they'll send you a postcard and it verifies you. Yeah, you just go yeah. to Google Business, register yeah. your business with your uh, registered um, office address, or um, if you're a sole trader, you may have to use your home address where you receive your business mail. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you enter your details, what your business is all about, put as much information in there as, is, as you consider useful. And then Google sends you a postcard, takes three, four days. You enter the code that's on the postcard and your business listing is verified. And, and you'll, you'll be found that way. And you'll, you'll notice that around your area on Google Maps, uh, most of your competitors would have a Google Maps business listing. And you need to give it a lot of love 
meaning that if you have some images of your business inside outside pictures um, or of your products and services, just upload them to Google Business. It's free and you have to do it. Okay, cool. That's, that's good. That's a very clear step one. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a step one that every yeah. business has to do and it's not hard. Excellent. Sorry, I'm going to ask you what step two. Okay, well, step two you mentioned earlier today. I also believe every business, no matter which industry, no matter how big, needs a website. And a website is nothing fancy or difficult to set up anymore. It's very uh, easy to register a domain. For example, with godaddy.com, it takes about five minutes. Um, well, for me, it takes five minutes. I've done mm. it many times, but maybe for the first time, it takes a bit longer. Mm. But you register your domain, and then what I would actually advise the, the small businesses, you know, with only a few employees, the local shops, if you don't have a website, you don't need to spend hundreds and hundreds or thousands of dollars. And you don't even need to host a website yourself using WordPress on your domain, which often has speed issues if you don't configure it right. Mm. I would actually recommend to get started with a simple website builder that is already optimized for mobile, is optimized for speed, you can use Wix or Weebly, and um, and that's actually what we try to do at Marketing Pushes. We don't, you know, want to rip customers off and 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 charge them thousands of dollars for a website. We do what work. We do. We use what works. We use Weebly. Um, it's just a couple of hundred dollars in setup. You're up and running within hours. Oh wow! Is there a monthly cost for that one? Yeah, there's a monthly fee that, yeah. that ranges between zero dollars to, to, to sixty, sixty-nine dollars, depending whether you want to have okay. an online store or not, depending okay. how many pages. Do. All of them these days have secure SSL encryption. All of them render perfectly for mobile uh, on, on iPhones and smartphones. So these these website builders are already ready hosted, they're optimized, they continuously improve. Mm -hmm. And you mm. have no headaches with them and, and oh, you cool. can edit them drag and drop in your browser. So yeah. why outsource this and, and spend thousands of dollars on a WordPress site that may not even work. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm a big fan of WordPress. If you yeah. want to build a really complicated, fancy site yourself, then yeah. you can use WordPress. But for small businesses, just use Wix or Weebly and you're up and running. Yeah. Gone on the days where you actually need to, no coding. I mean, like you said, your Weebly, your Wix, your Squarespace, your Shopify, is, all That's those it. makes it so much easier now. Yeah, very easy and, and really good quality, different themes, different design options. And to, to upload a new image or content or to do a blog post, someone just logs on, drags and drops certain elements, punches it in, clicks the publishing button, and the thing is live. Like imagine how that was, you know, years back, exactly as you said, you had to know a, at least HTML coding. Mm. These times are gone. It's like really straightforward. Mm. Cool. So now you've built yourself a website and now you're competing against everyone else out there. Um, yep. And we hear about terms of SEO and, um, SMO or SEO, <laughs> there's so many, yeah. So can you sort of go through a few of these acronyms so that our um, yeah. customers know? Okay, now, now we've, got the, we've got the business listing on Google Maps. That was the first important step. Yep. We've got the website, which is the second important step. The website is really your business card. And everyone talks about SEO. And unfortunately, there's a lot of so-called SEO experts out there Mm. That, that run into the barber shops and into the stores and let people know, oh, you know pay me $2,000 a month, I can do your SEO. Mm -hmm. Ooh, whoa. Um, now, don't get me wrong. SEO, which means search engine optimization, is really important. And here is why. It's free. And you want to be found within the search results of google.com.au or bing.com as well. Now you're already found on Google Maps through what we discussed earlier, but the search results are the text listings and they are important. Here is the catch 22 or the trick though. Like you need to be on the first or second page of google.com.au. And to get there, you have to climb up the ranks very slowly. So SEO is nothing that can immediately get you customers in a crisis like this today. And it's yeah. very hard to get to the top. 
and it's a long-term investment, but you need to do it. But you're already in good shape if you're using Wix or Weebly um, to build a website because they cover all the technicalities and the basics of your website. So they make it fast, which is important okay. for Google to consider your website to be uh, a decent website. Okay. But essentially what it comes down to, and this is, again, no rocket science, you need to just follow one simple rule for your website and then you're actually in decent shape with SEO. Mm -hmm. And that is publish useful and informative content regularly. Okay. So don't fake the funk, don't keyword stuff your website with whatever you know people advise you to do. Just think about your customers and publish what is interesting to them, not sounding you know, too advertorial or too salesy. Just publish mm. regular updates or personal or team updates that are authentic. Only the real stuff works. And if you do that over a the course of a couple of months, then your website will be filled more and more with good content. And what happens then is that the Google algorithms, the software spiders and crawlers, they visit your website, analyze your content, and they will consider it more and more relevant over time. Mm -hmm. And the more backlinks, other, other websites linking to your website that are relevant um, the more important your website becomes in the eyes of Google as well. So then your website starts rising. And if you're lucky and if you're doing that content publishing content information piece well, after a couple of months, you may show up on the first or second page of Google. But it's hard to get there. You may be ranking on page 15 to 100 at, at the start. Yeah. Once you get to page one, mm -hmm. all hell breaks loose and you get a lot of traffic for free. So that okay. is SEO. and yeah, don't be fooled if someone comes running into the door and tells you SEO will change your life and will get you heaps of customers immediately. It's not true. It takes a lot of time. For sure. I mean, you're saying you need to uh, regularly push out content and that would sort of get Google's interest and, and, and bring you up higher. Um, what about if you're the local pizza store or restaurant? What type do they... Are they expected to put out content? Because I'm, I imagine the website's pretty static. Um, they've got the, the menus and, and, and venue pictures. When you say release more content, are you expecting them to put out blogs or? Can, can yeah, you like, a, 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 yeah. like a, a company that has a pretty fixed set of services or products or food or a menu, like you mentioned, a pizza shop, they could, they could also um, uh, run a blog where they give business updates or where they, you know, share the latest recipes or maybe pictures of their, their, their pizzas. Um, they could also post um, specials. So for example, if they put a veggie pizza on sale for a while, they could yeah. put that on the blog and just That's say, hey, look, the next, um, the next week, the, the, the veggie pizza um, is 10% off. Um, sharing images of your products yeah. over time I mean, it, it sort of spreads your workload as well. They could shoot a nice picture of their pizza every week, upload mm -hmm. it to Facebook and Instagram, share it on their blog, cross-link Facebook and Instagram and the website blog. And mm -hmm. that will um, actually be enough to actually cover that content piece. That, does it have to be on a blog or can it be, okay, you know, it's like these websites these days have like a home screen and a hero page or hero image that might cycle. Is that a matter of just um, changing the cycle on that image? No, nah, look, um, look it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be a blog, mate. Like with my local stores, I run two local stores as well in shopping centers. I've actually decided to, to publish a one-line business update on the actual homepage itself. So what am I sharing there? I'm sh sharing changes in opening hours. I'm, cha I'm sharing you know, who's new on the team. Um, okay. I'm, I'm sharing quick um, summaries of what can be, um, you know, uh, published later in the, in the blog and I cross link to the blog from there. So that's yeah. why my homepage grows over time with these little business updates. Okay, cool. Um, are there ways to, I guess, take shortcuts or, or trick algorithms or is there, you hear yeah. things, right? So yeah. what are some of the things that people can do? Yeah. So. If you need short-term results, we need to now talk about the most complicated, but in my opinion, best marketing channel there is in the world. And this okay. is 
my passion. I love this marketing channel for any business and it can be done for really any size again. Uh, Sounds exciting. Businesses. So, and this is search engine advertising. Now this is the paid stuff. And why is paid going to give you short-term results? Because you pay Google for your text ads and you immediately show up on that page one or two with your little text ad, but you pay for every click mm. when a click happens on your text ad. Now this is called search engine advertising or SEA. And the, the tool behind it is called Google ads. Now a message of, of caution here, Google ads can waste you a lot of money. If you basically log on to Google ads, chuck up a few hundred dollars, you know, you use all the Google auto uh, mechanisms, your hundred dollars will be gone within five minutes. Right? Mm -hmm. okay. So, SEA is a little bit complex, I must admit, but, and you may want to use an agency for this at the start. If you're a larger business, you should hire an SEA expert who has a really good background in uh, analytics, statistics, and financial computation. Because mm -hmm. ultimately, as a big company, you want to have SEA in-house. It gives you the most insights into your competitors and your consumer behaviors, customers' behaviors. And why is that? So let's understand SEA, how it works. Someone searches mm. on Google for uh, pizza delivery service Bondi. Mm -hmm. Now the Google Maps listings come up on top. We discussed those. But if you want to show up in the search results, then there may be a little text ad that says one of our customers uh, at Marketing Push, for example, is Epic Pizza. So you know, maybe Epic Pizza runs a little text ad and it shows up right below the Google Maps. If you click on it, then they pay for it and it takes you straight to the Epic Pizza website. Okay. Now this text ad, you need to do in a proper way and you need to, you know, configure Google ads so it works efficiently. But you can get traffic like as much as you want almost because there is people searching every second millions of times for anything out there. Anything mm. is being searched today, not only on google.com.au, but more and more as well on YouTube. So this is maybe the, the last piece of advice I have today is if you okay. have a company that can publish, um, you know, informative videos like you're doing it today, you mm. know, you, you may want to publish that on YouTube because YouTube is a fantastic search engine, engine where you can learn anything from playing guitars to, you know, uh, digging Brain up your surgery. backyard. <laughs> Yeah. Now YouTube is very powerful. I mean, you can, like you said, playing guitar to brain surgery to watching old nostalgic cartoons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So much fun. And to... people, people love to see stuff. And even a pizza shop can, can have a little video up on YouTube uh, every other month about, you know, how clean their kitchen is, what hygiene methods they use, how they train their staff, you know, how top quality produce they use for their pizzas. Like anyone can publish uh, um, authentic, informative videos on YouTube on, mm. on you know, how to do things right uh, or how to do things. Um, so, you know, that's, that's four big elements here that I think your Abacus customers should that's consider. Good. You know, that's Google Maps, that's a website, that's getting the content on the website right. Now there's some tricks there as well on SEO, how to do that, but Weebly or Wix will solve it. And then the mm -hmm. fourth one, um, you know, is, is SEA and, and paid advertising uh, on the search engines or YouTube. Okay. Well, thank you. Thanks so much. Hopefully those no four worries. pearls of wisdom will be very useful. Yeah, no worries. Okay. Thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Have a great day, Peter. Bye. Thank you. Have a good day. Uh,